the problem with the NoFap community. I've been watching NoFap videos since I was 17, bro, and I just finally quit my porn addiction, and I finally went through two and a half months of me being on NoFap. But as watching those videos when I was growing up as a 17-year-old kid, I done seen so many videos of people just talking a bunch of nonsense just for you, like, to start NoFap, just to, like, you know, just, like, say that you can be able to fucking do all sorts of shit while being on nofap just for you to start so you'll have these youtubers are like day 1683 that you were able to fly or some shit <laughs> or you're able to fucking levitate or something bro to keep it real between me and you that's bullshit like I i'm gonna keep it real with y'all like you know obviously it's bullshit you're not gonna be able to fucking grow wings and fly or just like fucking be able to to levitate like get the fuck out of here you know i done seen a lot of youtubers not necessarily saying that but just like a lot of nonsense that just being about the benefits of like you know that every girl is gonna be looking at you all oh, all oh, this the all oh, the energy is gonna be so crazy blah, blah. like yeah like in moderation of you being like a human you start to realize and see the benefits for yourself but i feel as if being more honest with you guys like yeah like it's like if you guys got want to go point for point for point i could give you guys my experience of it like if you guys could go see my other videos i, I went for each week on within this nofab streak I, i'm gonna turn it into a playlist so that you guys can watch and you know i'm gonna keep going on to my nofab streak but like bro like you guys could go watch like the shit that i say i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not I'm bullshitting like it's like you know a lot of times my energy was up you know women was looking at me and shit like that but it was like i wasn't even on that i was just like super focused on what i had going on for me but since i relapsed i relapsed only literally like a week ago Go, bro i would have been like on day 90 within this next week or this week i don't even like that's the thing i don't even remember you guys like i'm gonna keep it a beam like you know like i'm over it like you know like i'm over that shit like i won't let that shit affect me of like i nutted so this that and the third like nah bro but since i last realized bro i realized like you know a lot of people like kind of had this false Im like even me i had this false image of like what i would be at a day 90 or just like you know all sorts of shit like yeah my life totally improved like if you guys watch my but like any of my previous videos you guys will understand like the type of grind that i'm on like it's like literally doing the same things every day but just like having enough energy having enough strength kind of getting stronger in the gym there's like a lot of certain things that did benefit my life but like realizing like yo i thought like on day 90 i'd be like i, I don't even know how to explain it's just something more fictional just like i don't know like i would have grown like a fucking whole shit ton of chin hair or something i, I don't even know how to explain it but like you know that was my point of view of it and that leads you to being like kind of disappointed like you know, with this whole nofap shit, like, me, personally, I'm not disappointed at, like, any of that shit, because, like, I reached my goal, I did what I said I was gonna do, and that's, and that's just what happened, you know, I, like, it's like, okay, now, what's the next thing, it's like, you set a goal, you complete it, you take, like, a second of, like, okay, we did it, but then it's like, okay, what's the next thing, so it's like, if you're going into nofap, like, don't have this perceived image that you're gonna be able to, like, lift 600 pounds, and you're gonna be able to fucking fly, or something, like, you know, I, I, I hear a lot of the, like, nofap YouTubers, like, literally be, like, you know, they're, they're kind of gas and they're kind of exaggerating. And I'm going to keep it real with y'all because, like, you know, I've been on it for 80 days. And I'm going to be that type of dude who's, like, going to just keep it real. Like, it, it's a lot of benefit. Like, if you're going to start, like, trust me, you will see progress within your life. Like, especially if you're active, doing things, weightlifting, you know, eating right, all types of shit. Like, you're going to see benefits within your life that you, you that you never thought that you had. Like, you would literally be so disciplined to shit. Like, you know, it's like a lot of things. Like I said, like I said, I recorded a whole lot of videos. And I'll put it in a playlist for you guys. I'll leave one of the videos right here for you guys to truly understand like what i mean and like i wrote down the benefits like just how i was feeling each week so just to like really put it into like a few words is like after retaining for a little while yes you will feel good you're gonna feel amazing you're gonna keep doing what you gotta do but like you're not gonna turn into superman you're not gonna be wolverine and grow some sh i don't know what the fuck you guys imagine like a lot of people just like imagine like once i hit day 70 it's over like i'm that guy whatever like i don't know what the fuck these people think i kind of had that within me too but like as i went through it was just like i progressed just kept progressing but then i don't see it as that anymore you know so it's like that superman shit or just you being able to levitate or you got these superhuman powers that you could grab any bitch or whatever the fuck you guys think it is it's not true it's just a lot of benefits that will help you within your life but turning into superman is not realistic bro also another big problem within the nofap community is guys who are super crazy like crazed out like i see a lot of like other people's comments on other videos because i do my research and i just even see a few people on my video where it's like in my comment section where like they kind of might have take it to the next level like you know and just like in real life i've met like a few dudes who just like kind of do this nofap shit and it's like they kind of make this shit their whole personality like this is all they talk about it's like bro i am on day uh 223 uh second minute he knows the minute the second i don't know how to explain these like 
23 minutes uh, the 24th hour the 23rd minute I, I don't fucking know uh eight seconds in on no fap like bro what the fuck is wrong? like i know people i don't know if you guys know it but trust me there's people out there like you know not to say that they're so down bad but it's like you keep evolving but just like bro if they nut or something it's like bro i don't know how to explain it's like at the end of the world it's like they their whole heart shatters it's like over and it's like no fap is really good because like you know just to get off the porn like more times than not if you're doing no fap you want to quit this porn shit like you want to be outside like fucking some bitches or something at least like you want to at least get some nuts off outside like your whole no fap shit isn't something of like oh i'm on day 78 or whatever you know it's not like you're super super focused like once you know every single day or whatever the fuck like what day you're on you're gonna end up releasing and it's like when that happens you're gonna be fucking annihilated like you're gonna feel super bad like i said i released like about a week ago and i honestly i had the feeling of like fuck you know like damn but like after like five seconds it was like okay fuck that but then when i recorded my video i actually sat down i was like wait i let down a whole lot of people you know because i felt like you guys were looking up to me for this shit and you know i'm gonna be back onto it but it's not something that like i'm like sweating like every day like damn bro there's no way i just busted like you feel me like no like no that's where you take the shit to the next level of like put out a short-term goal that's like you know, like this is not really a short term like you know most guys can't even touch two weeks without fapping this shit right so my whole thing was like okay we gotta double it if i can't do a month with that i'm gonna have to go two months without it so that i kind of doubled my like you know discipline type shit and i went two months i went two months and a half i went over my stretch so i didn't really you know once i t accomplished my goal bro i accomplished it. i was mad happy but it was like I wasn't like, you know, after that, I was like, okay, if I bust, I bust. It's not like I'm going to go through my days. Like, you know, if I'm fucking a bitch and I'm like, you know, I'm about to bust, like it might happen. Like, that's just, <laughs> that's what it comes down to. You know, it's like, you can't sweat that shit, right? Like I say, no fab is really good for most guys who are not getting bitches who are like on the phone watching porn all day. Like what the fuck? Like, okay, I understand that. Like if you're watching porn, like for sure, bro, like this is great for you. But, but if you outside get like fucking bitches, like the only problem you would really have is like, if you're fucking too many times or fucking too much and then you're feeling depleted, then yeah, maybe, you know, learning like, um, other shit, like ejaculating up the spine that I'm going to get into with you guys. But like, bro, other than that, like you just got to keep it real with yourself, bro. You like, you know, if you're fucking a bitch and it's getting that crazy, you know, you might bust. Like, it's like, but, like, for most of one of these guys, they're like, oh, my God, I'm about to bust. Oh, my God, I, my days is over. Like, uh, all my benefits. It's like, bro, like, that's when you take that shit to the next level. It's like, this guy is tripping out of all of these benefits. Oh, so if I bust, I'm not getting any bitches. Or if I bust, I'm not getting any my my energy levels low. Or, you know, all of this shit. It's like, bro, I'm telling you, after you go, like, fucking 30, 60 days without busting, it's like, if anything, I feel like it enlightened, like enlightened me a little bit more that day. Like, I swear, it's like, like if there's a goal that you're trying to reach and you bust, like, okay, damn. Like, if I would have busted before the two months, I would have felt like shit for, like, a day or two. Yeah, you know, I would have been like, fuck. But I would have kept it moving and went back to it. But, like, if you didn't touch your goal, I, I truly understand that feeling of, like, fuck. You know, like, you know, just like, damn, there's no way I didn't touch my goal. But, like, if if you're, like, fucking a bitch and then you're, like, you know, about to bust or whatever. And you, you end up busting, there's no sort of unless you're trying to have a goal there's no there shouldn't be no sort of like anger towards this shit like to this bitch for making you bust or something <laughs> like you know like i'd say like unless you you're reaching for a goal and you bust and okay then be kind of mad at yourself but if you're like you're, you're well over this shit you're well over porn all that like me personally i'm over that shit i don't i don't watch that shit after you know these after that first month that shit was out like for real like that that i don't even get urges to watch porn I, I get urges to fuck bitches like that that's that's what you that's what i feel like men should want like on no fab or like you know getting a girlfriend or something like you know real life shit not no fucking phone shit you know but don't be that one of those guys that even after if you touch 30 days or whatever 60 days whatever you bust it's like the end of the world or you you lose all your benefits i don't get no bitches or i i, I don't have energy or i don't have my discipline that's that's when you put it in your head and you start to be like yo once i bust you start to manipulate your mind that you like okay the world is over um my energy is low so you're automatically going to start feeling tired you're going to start like you're, you're going to look at the downfalls of like busting after like you know a lot of people bust like three times a day bro that's busting once every fucking once in a while is it bad it's not gonna deplete your energy it's not gonna put you in the mindset of like okay i'm tired every single day and um Oh, my energy's low. That means my discipline's gonna be low. I'm not gonna get women attention or just whatever. Just don't sweat it like that. That's the whole thing with this no fab shit. Is like if you sweat that shit that much, you're not gonna get to where you want to be on your journey, bro. So those are my two biggest things with this no fab shit. I've realized this throughout the community, and I, you know, I love the community because it's a bunch of people who want to work hard and get to their goals and shit. But it's like if you overextend, right? I'm not giving you an excuse to go be busting all over the spot, but like 
Bro, if you got a bitch or whatever, you know, and you bust every now and then, that's not bad. But if you have a goal and you're with a woman, then it's like, okay, we're going to have to slow it down or we're going to have to, like, figure out a way that you're not going to bust when you win that. You know, you you feel me? Like, you're going to have to work through it if you have a goal. But if, like, even for guys with women that are going crazy every single day, it's like, you know, search up how to ejaculate up the spine, you know, so that you don't bust, deplete your energy and you have more energy to give out while going crazy, you know? So it's like... But see the things for what it is. Do not be like when you're super like nerded out about this shit, then that's when it's over. Like that's when you gotta realize, hold on, I need to chill out, bro. Like I, I gotta stop writing down every single day I'm on, what I'm feeling like. You feel what I'm saying? It's just let it happen naturally and you're gonna see all the benefits for what it is, right? And like I said, I'm not giving you out an excuse to go be busting every five seconds or whatever it is. Bro, don't fuck all that. But see it for what it is, bro. See this that like if you see this from a third person's point of view, that person's a human. He busts every day. His life is horrible. That person's a human. He busts once a month or once every fucking 50, 60 days. That person is not going to feel like that person no matter what happens. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I'll leave my last video for you guys right here. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, bro. And stay yourself. Stay 300. And whatever you do in life, trust me, I'll believe you, bro.